Welcome to the howtonetwork.net CCNA flashcard viewer video. So when you go to howtonetwork.net there'll be a link on the home page showing you how to get to the CCNA study cards page. So if you click on that you'll have an option, there's a little bit of an explanation and then an option on the right to click on the movie camera which will show you the demo video which is actually this video you're watching now. So to download the flashcard viewing software that's been tailor made so you can view the flashcards you just click on the CD icon that will take you to a download page and you can save the file. Your environment may look different to mine I'm using Windows XP and Firefox as a web browser. When you've downloaded the flashcard setup.msi file you can click on open and install it. It does run on the Microsoft.NET framework, so if you don't have that installed on your PC or laptop, then you'll be prompted to load that. Choose where you'd like to install the, the software. I've just left it at the default location. And it will set up an icon on your start menu as well. So we've downloaded the software now, I've skipped through, it'll obviously take you a little longer. Then what we need to do is install our flash decks. There's a free deck of router architecture questions for all non-members, just so you can have them pull and, and try before you buy. So all the decks are ending .fcd. So we've downloaded that from our download place as well. And in order to install the decks, what we need to do is find where we've downloaded them to. In this case, it's my documents. And all you have to do is double click on the icon and it will boot up the software and ask you if you do want to install it. Click on yes if you do want to install it and that's all you need to do on the installation side. If you go to all programs on your start menu there'll be a how to network logo, click on flash, flashcards and then flashcard viewer. So what you've done is downloaded the software for viewing and your first flag. So now to use the decks you've clicked on the icon and it's launched the deck viewer software. I'm going to click on router architecture as the deck because that's the one we've just downloaded and it's launched the player so it's pretty pretty simple interface it's popped up a question there if you want to flip on the other side of the card all you do is press on the white space inside the card and it will flip over and give you the answer obviously the point is that you try and work out the answer before you click on the deck if you got it right you click on the tick if you've got the answer wrong you click on the cross sign and what the software does it remembers which decks you've got which cards you've got right which ones are incorrect and you'll be able to actually build a custom deck later so what I'm doing at the moment is just clicking on the space getting the questions and the answers if it's right I click the tick and if it's incorrect I'll click the cross arrow you can use the slider if there's any pictures inside you just slide it across and it will bring you a nice up close view of the icon so there's quite a few different icons in the cards there's also some clickable links so we'll come to one of those in a second I've colored them blue all you do is click on it and if you wanted to read more or get some more information you click on that link there and it will open up a relevant page to give you more background information so again just a few more questions and what we're going to do, we're on card 7 of around 22 I think it is. So at the moment we're just going to flip forward as if we've actually gone through all the questions. So we're on deck 21. Again just clicking the card to get the flip from the question to the answer. And we can have a look at our test results once that test is finished. It's the route router architecture I wanted and it's just telling, telling us what our accuracy is. Obviously if you're getting the question 100% accurate every time then really there's no point in continually testing yourself on the same questions. So what we're going to do is click on manage decks and we're going to build a custom deck. So I've clicked on the new deck there. I'm going to give it the title revision. At the moment I can only click on router architecture because I've only downloaded one deck but as a member you can download lots of decks and what you can do is mix various questions from various decks together so that's a really handy feature that will to help you concentrate on the part you want. So I've clicked on the questions I'd like to continually revise and what I'm going to keep what I'm going to do is keep testing those questions until I'm getting those 100% right. So I've made the deck now I'll just close down the deck manager click on begin testing and my new deck called revision is now available. OK 
Okay, so thanks a lot for watching the uh, the video.